Hello, Buddhas. Can I just start this off by saying that merino wool is one of the greatest materials on the entire planet? Icebreaker, if you want to sponsor this channel, contact me. Now, let's talk a minute about your past, your childhood, things that you did, things that happened. I have a very interesting example that I'd like to share about that, and it actually has a lot to do with the wall behind me. I just recently painted my condo, and this wall is an accent wall. It makes it nice and funky. Everything else is completely white. Um, and then I have this beautiful green wall. And this beautiful green wall is a paint called Salamander. Now, when I was a child, I guess not quite an infant, but like, let's call it eight to 18-ish, that kind of time span, I was really into something called Warhammers, which is little figurines that you play little war games on a tabletop and you move them around. It's quite fun. You used to have to build them and then paint them and then you would play with your friends. And we used to do that a lot. And the association or the alliance or whatever, the group that I used to play with Space Marines, Dark Angels, and the paint that I used to use was dark green and it was called Salamander. The paint that I just played, painted my place a decade later is dark green and it's called Salamander. Now, you can look at that and you can assume that that's what we call a coincidence. Let me tell you something. There is no such thing as coincidence. There is only math in this universe and the equations always add up. So there is absolutely no way that those two things, the paint color and the figurines I used to play with, are not related in some way. Subtle relationships are still relationships. We don't give that stuff enough credit. So what I realized the other day is that my past actions as a child, the positive associations that I had, the fun times, the hard work, the detail orientation of the painting and the enjoying and the, the smells and, and the, the, the emotional reaction that I had to that product and that fun, right, that enjoyment of my life has left a lasting impact on me. And I think that that's a very good thing. I don't think there's any reason to be alarmed about that. And now I'm seeing a reflection of it on my wall. We have a cat visiting. Hello, butterscotch. It's going to get my shirt all full of hair. And we have a reflection of that where now, as a grown-ass adult, I guess you could call me, I have this affinity for, for the color green. I've always enjoyed it, even before the Space Marines. And I painted an entire wall in my place that exact same, well, close enough, that exact same color. And again, coincidence, maybe, but I personally believe that it was almost meant to be. And it makes the space look so good. House tour coming eventually if you guys ask for it. I've got some final touches to, to sort out right now, it's kind of a mess, but it's coming. And this place is fire because I have put my heart and soul into making a little cocoon, a capsule, a beautiful place of, 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 of love and surrender for myself. And having this, this color, it just makes me so happy every time that I see it that I can't personally in any way conceive that it not be a good thing. Sorry, another camera problem. And what I'd like to just conclude is making this a fairly quick video. Embrace the things in your past that, that are positive emotions and, and bring those into your life and, and pay homage to the good times that you've had, right? I'm not at a state right now where I have enough shelving to, to do anything about it, but I would like to have one of those figurines up just to be like, yes, that was a, a past Alex. I'm acknowledging the, the love that I have for that child, which is me, ultimately. We have to love our, our own childness. And I think that starts by loving and appreciating ourselves in the past for the actions that we took, regardless of their outcome. Because if we feel the guilt and if we feel the shame about it, then we are just screwing ourselves right now. So what I would love to see from you guys is if any of you have ever 
recognize something from your past as being influencing the future you, your, your now you, and to see what that is. Let me know in the comments down below and uh, we, maybe we can get some discussion going about that. As always, like, comment, subscribe in the video description, all the stuff down below here. And let's get that check mark going so that you can see every single video that I post and you can keep on this flying high. Peace.